Hi there! I will teach y'all how to build rounded cones in this game using my program. This is what I mean by that. Both convex and concave cones. I will also go through basic cones. I'll now show the program that'll assist you in building cones. This is a scratch program I recently updated. You can type your number of sides, height and diameter. Then the diagram will be drawn based on the numbers you've typed in. Numbers with decimals work as well. To see the following measurements, you can either hover your mouse or tap on the dots to see them. Tap the settings button at the bottom right corner. You'll need to use this for this tutorial to make convex or concave cones. Either scroll your mouse or swipe your finger on either of the two diagrams to change the position of the dots. Every time the dot changes position, it will show the corresponding measurements. This larger dot switch is for those who are using small devices. There's also this button here at the bottom. This button helps to resize the program to the right size when this happens. Click it and it fixes the issue. First of all, place and resize a block into an extremely thin pole. Then resize the height to as tall as you want. This is your cone's height. Once you're done, place a block below the pole. Resize as wide as you want as long as it's a square and pole is in the center. This is your cone's diameter. Once you're done, you can type in your height, diameter, and number of sides. Use scale tool to measure them. Then take out a block of your choice and copy the blue side. Type in your angle under rotate. Try to make the edge of the block to touch the tip of the pole. Next turn on match rotation and copy the front view diagram. Try to make it as accurate as possible. Use the other angle after the OR for the other side. After that's done, fill up the empty spaces. After that, feel free to paint it. Lastly, delete the pole. We are now ready to duplicate. Type in your exterior angle to rotate. I also suggest scaling every side of the block by one stud beforehand. By the way, you can also use the other duplication methods if you either don't have enough blocks or unable to do this but you can do what I'm doing if you know how to do it. We are done with the basic cone. Place and resize a block into an extremely thin pole. Then make it as tall as you want. This is your cone's height. Then place a block below pole and scale it as wide as you want. Just make sure it's a square and pole is in the center. This is your cone's diameter. Measure using scale tool and type in your height, diameter, and number of sides. Click settings icon. Adjust the smoothness to more than one and curvature to more than zero. 
Then take out a block of your choice and simply copy the blue sides. I suggest starting from the bottom since it will be easier. Scroll or swipe up to build the next side. Then you can paint the sides for better observation. After that turn on match rotation. Now copy the front view diagram. The sides we just built represent the blue line. Before moving on, add a thin line at the bottom of every side. Now let's do the purple signs. Make sure the side touches the line above. Then use the angle after or for the other side. Then scroll or swipe up again to move on to the next sides. Repeat until you're done. Now let's fill up the gaps. We are finally done with the main part. You can paint it any color you want. Then delete pole. Lastly expand every side of the base by one stud. Now we are ready to duplicate. Type in your exterior angle into rotate. You can duplicate by using Trowell tool or other methods like hinge plus cake glitch. I'll be using Trowell for this video. And we're done. Here's one example of what you can build using convex cones. This is a nose of an airplane. First build a very thin pole. Then scale it as tall as you want. This represents your cone's height. Next place a block below the pole and rescale as wide as you want. Just be sure that it's a square and pole is in center. This will represent your cone's diameter. Use scale tool to measure and type in the height, diameter and number of sides into the program. Click settings icon. Then set smoothness to more than one, curvature less than zero. Then take out a block of your choice and copy the blue sides. I also suggest starting from the bottom since it will be easier. Once done, scroll or swipe up to move on to the next side. Paint the sides for better observation. Then turn on match rotation and copy the front view diagram. By the way, the sides we just built represent this blue line. Before moving on, add a thin line at the bottom of every side. Then complete building the purple sides. Stop extending the side when it reaches the line. Then use the angle after or for the other side. Then scroll or swipe up again to move on to the next sides. Keep doing this until you're done. After that, fill up the gaps. Then paint it any color of your choice. Delete the pole and you're ready to duplicate. Type in your exterior angle to rotate. If you have Trowell you can use this method. 
Otherwise, you can use the same method as how people duplicate to make circles. Our cone is finished. Here's an example of what you can build with concave cones. These are simple trees. I know it's not really interesting, but I'm out of ideas. Anyways, I hope my program is able to assist you in building your cones. If you have any suggestions, feel free to put it in the comments. Goodbye and have a nice day.